Why did the clones upgrade to Phase 2 armor? Heavily based upon Mandalorian armor, Phase 1 armor was used by almost every clone trooper during the early stages of the Clone Wars. However, by the time of the war's conclusion, the vast majority of clones wore Phase 2 armor, despite being more expensive and not housing an internal life support system. There were several reasons for this switch. First, Phase 2 armor was more comfortable, provided the wearer with better protection while also being lighter. Most importantly though, the Phase 1 armor was simply too standardized. As the Clone Wars drew on and more and more systems were dragged into the war, both sides were forced to adapt to increasingly hostile environments. While the CIS could simply make a new battle droid or slightly alter existing units, the clones had to rely on increasingly specialized equipment. The Phase 2 armor was therefore designed to be adaptable and compatible with specialist equipment to combat the Separatist threat. 